The fight for LGBTQ plus rights has been decades in the making, and for those with a religious faith, that fight also includes just feeling accepted by a church. CBS 8's Regina Urita talks to gay congregants who struggled for years to find a welcoming and inclusive church for LGBTQ plus people. The LGBTQ plus community has faced a decades long fight for equal rights. Part of that fight is finding a church that's accepting and welcoming of who they are. Some community members have even rejected their faith because of the challenging history they have with some local churches. However, as more progress is being seen, we see more churches being accepting and opening their doors to the LGBTQ plus community. Martin Nasehall has been a member at St. Paul's Episcopal Cathedral in Hillcrest for years. His Christian faith has always been important to him. He says it's what's gotten him through tough times. Martin's Christian religion actually began in a Pentecostal church in Missouri. And I grew up in that church for 20 years and loved every minute of it. But at the age of 20, things started to change when Martin told the minister of his church that he was gay. No, you're not welcome. He found that instead of being accepted, the minister turned him away. The practice of excluding LGBTQ plus people from religious spaces has a long, complex history. According to a recent survey conducted by Pew Research Center, at least 29% of the LGBTQ plus population say they have been made to feel unwelcome in a place of worship. You know, that was that way too often used love the sinner, hate the sin. So that was a challenge. <laughs> But with the pride movement strengthening, the fight for inclusivity is changing how churches welcome members. Certain churches have gradually accepted LGBTQ plus people. In San Diego, a percentage of congregants from St. Paul's Episcopal Church are LGBTQ plus. It's gone through a journey, really over the last hundred years, of gradually opening doors and knocking down barriers. In the San Diego Catholic community, one bishop has also been vocal about supporting LGBTQ plus churchgoers. Cardinal designate Robert McElroy, who says the gay community is family. And that's where the Pope is pointing to, um, in that we've tried to, uh, in our various parishes, uh, be very welcoming. With some places of worship becoming progressive, LGBTQ plus members like Martin have become hopeful for the younger generation. Listen for the still, small voice of God, because God loves us. Regina Yurita, CBS 8.